every single second of this miserable ass show, I thought that it'd be a more productive use of my time to try and drive my cranium through a brick wall. This is, no joke, one of the most annoying shows that I have ever experienced. You know, the guy who has a living re existence. The first of the problems is the show never shuts up. The entire show is just noise. Every single second is filled with wacky sound effects or talking. Boys shouldn't be able to make, because the human ear certainly can't hear it. Let me give you a brief rundown of voices that I'd rather listen to than Bunsen or Amanda. I would rather listen to Bubsy from Bubsy 3D. I would rather listen to Whitey from Eight Crazy Nights. I would rather listen to any of the problem solvers. I'd rather listen to every episode of Control Alt Delete than one episode of this show. Now, if you recall, Control Alt Delete had literally broken audio equipment. I'd even rather listen to my own videos from 2013. The audio quality in this show is that fucking bad. I could only make it a couple episodes through this one because by the end of it, I had a legitimate headache. No, I'm not kidding. Whose idea was this? That's the only way to describe the later Dan Schneider shows, the middle Spongebob seasons, or the later Butch Hartman shows. Their jokes and stories and shit that we've seen before regurgitated and put back together in disgusting new ways. Butch Hartman has been a controversial figure as of late for a variety of reasons that you can look into on your own time. A lot of people say that he's like the George Lucas of animation. Throwing random bullshit. And what about the story? What story? Amanda wants to get rid of beasts because reasons unexplained. It's literally just Crocker wanting to capture fairies again, with less of a reason. Fairly Odd Parent says Crocker. Bunsen is a beast, has a crock of shit. The animation? Well, it's better than Fairly Odd Parent Season 10, but I love that they use the exact same flash techniques that Fairly Odd Parent Season 10 used, that maybe got that show axed. And yeah, I do sound a little bit pissed, but I live in a world where people are supposed to get better with skills and age. And what I'm seeing is someone who is well-respected and basically tenured, giving kids random pintering shit without a single thought for quality control. A complete lack of originality from a creator who has been out of ideas for over a decade now. Even Bunsen's design is unoriginal. This is your monster? Just a random fuzzy thing with a big mouth? It looks like Dr. Seuss tried drawing where the wild things are. I've seen this before. Even if I hadn't, Big Mouth has a better looking beast than yours. And that's one of the worst shows that I've ever seen. Why does Bunsen's voice sound like that? I legitimately want to know. What was the process of determining this creature's voice? Who sat there and said that this was okay? Or, alternatively, who are all the people who just stood there and didn't say, My god, this is one of the worst things that I've ever heard in the absolute dearth of the voice acting industry. And let me be absolutely clear, this is no offense to the voice actor himself, whoever it is. Bad voices and animation are rarely based on the actual voice actor, but the direction that they're given. When we get voices like Harry Scary or Bubsy, it's because some studio hack thought that these voices would be funny or charming or something. A Nick executive saw the drawings that Butch Hartman did and decided that it should be a cartoon instead. Dead, which may be one of the absolute worst things that a Nick executive has ever done. Oh yeah, this show is that bad. As a picture book, it would be cliche but tolerable. The constant off-the-wall noise of some of the most ear-grating vocal performances that I've ever heard. Voices that could only be improved by a broken microphone. If you have a format for this show that doesn't have that, it's a vast improvement already. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to listen to the theme of Kung Fu Dino Posse because I want to flush Bunsen's voice out of my system. And the only way to get rid of it is basically to burn it with the audio version of FIRE!